Hello, hello. Happy Monday. It's a bigger board than I have space for, but we got it situated. How's everybody doing? So as you can see, we are doing a repeat transfer. It is time for my son to get his version. And so if you remember, my daughter picked, oh, it was teal and raspberry sorbet. Um, my son wanted to go with red, it's the candy apple red, and black. Um, they match, they'll go in his room well, as well as their school colors. So he was kind of excited about that. So we'll be using the Braver Stronger transfer. And now this one's been used, so we're not gonna fuzz it as much as with the newer transfers. And fuzzing again just does exactly that. Adds a little fuzz to the back so it doesn't stick so hard to your surface. Get that nice and centered. Smooth it out so there's no bubbles. All right, and if you're working, this is just an uh, artist canvas. If you're working with an artist canvas, it's nice to put something underneath, otherwise it squishes a lot, and this just helps hold it steady. All right. Whew, looks like I'm gonna need some more black. want the paste to be a yogurt consistency. Cake batter. Just mixing that up. And if the paste isn't, is if it, if the paste is a little thick, you can just add water until you get it to that right consistency. You just keep mixing it up. Making a mess on my transfer. Sometimes you gotta get a little rough with it if it's a little chunky. squirt some water in there and let that soak just a little bit while I work on the red. It's a beautiful candy apple red. See, and that one's just about perfect, so we're good to go on that one. Ready to go. So I'm just going to take some of the paste, I'm going to spread it out, and you can see that this transfer has stained. It will not bother how the transfer works at all, it just changes the appearance of the transfer. You just take the paste and you spread it out across the silk screen, covering all that white area. Scrape off the extra. You can see how I kind of pushed the paste. It's sometimes 
the best way to get off any extra. I'm gonna grab a couple extra jars um, so I can, when you're dealing with the bigger transfers, you want to, because the paste can dry and when you peel up the paste, it can lift what you've done. You want to kind of work and then lift the transfer and work and lift the transfer. Right, come in with our red. And again, the same process, you just spread it out. Scrape off the extra. Right. And again, we're just gonna Lift that up to our next line. Holding up the corners. Beautiful. Again. You know, and if you're just doing one color, you could just put paste all over it spread out the paste and you wouldn't have to worry about obviously the different lines or the peeling dries pretty quick so you want to either make sure that you work fast but the good thing about it drying quickly is that you don't have to worry about sticking your finger in it and messing up your project I'm not saying that that can't happen That pressed down. So with our pastes, they are semi-permanent. So on your non-porous surfaces, they will wash off with water. So your chalkboards, your glass, metal, it will wash off. Your woods, your artist canvas, things like that. The color can sink in and stain it so it doesn't wash off as well. Now if you're doing it on a canvas or a piece of wood, you could always wash it off as much as possible. And then um, paint over it or if you sand it, if it was wood, you could sand it. And start over but and then our inks that we have can be used on fabrics and well, let's see coffee mugs and wine glasses and kitchen towels you can make your own kitchen towels and wine glasses which are great gifts um, if you know people that drink wine I know plenty of people that drink wine I drink wine. <laughs> um, just made some coffee mugs this last Saturday with for Halloween, so those were super fun. You can see those in a different video on my page. You 
and just scraping off the extra. Peeling it up so it doesn't peel up dry and then peel up then. Hi, Penny. Always happy to answer questions so feel free to always ask questions if I didn't explain something or you wonder what I'm doing I'm always happy to help we're getting to the end guys one more Remember to peel, get ahead of myself. There we go. It's easy to get a, on a roll. Just keep chalking, you get in the zone. Yes, there is a chalk zone. It's great and you've seen this transfer before in another video I did so you know that they are reusable so last time I used it and I'll do the same thing this time is I will finish up I will wash it off with water cold water warm water do not use hot so your cool lukewarm water you wash it off wipe the back the sticky side off with a Disinfectant wipe, a Clorox wipe. Let that dry. And then you can put it back on the backing sheet and it's ready for next time. I've seen this transfer used on shirts. I've seen where they've just used um, the braver, stronger, smarter, more loved on a shirt. That was really cute. And the final, final line, we just, again, spread it out over that silk screen. Scrape off any extra. Are we ready for the big reveal? And just like that, clear, sharp lines, the color of your choice. Ooh. Looks like we got a little bit of a, oops, right up there. We will try to, might have had a little bit of um, water from when I was mixing the paste left over. And so it kind of spread out a little bit. I'll clean that up with... Um, I'll either take some white paint and paint that off. I might try to clean it up with like a Q-tip. Um, so yeah, that is tonight's project. Um, thank you for joining me. Again, if you ever have any questions, just ask. And if you like to see this and you want to see more of the transfers, you can check out my online store. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye.